Scientists say a massive magma pool is stirring beneath Yellowstone volcano. Researchers from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, have been investigating a subterranean monster lurking beneath America's Yellowstone National Park and beyond. The Yellowstone caldera is a 45 kilometer wide, 70 kilometer wide crater in northwestern Wyoming that erupted from the Earth's crust about 640,000 years ago in a catastrophic eruption. It was an earth-shaking event. Scorching lava and a massive cloud of toxic ash swept across the North American landscape. Geological surveys have revealed that much of what is now the United States was blanketed in ash, and rivers of molten lava flowed out of Yellowstone for hundreds of kilometers, sometimes settling in pools several kilometers deep. This outpouring of gas, smoke, ash, and debris changed the climate of the entire planet for centuries. Of course, scientists want to know when this might happen again, and a new study helps paint a picture of the beast lurking beneath the beauty of Yellowstone Park. Every 700,000 years or so, the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts. Supervolcanoes aren't the big mounds of ash and lava you see in school textbooks. Instead, they're huge pools of magma sitting just beneath the Earth's crust. Eruptions occur when that crust collapses into the rising magma, which boils to the surface. Researchers have been trying to peer beneath the surface for decades to see what these underground pools of molten magma are doing. Geologists have long identified two resurfaced magma domes where the Earth is being pushed upward by the pressure of molten rock north and west of Yellowstone Lake in the heart of the caldera. But thermal sensing techniques have been confounded by the network of steam vents, geysers that make this pristine national park a tourist attraction, and seismic probes have had to contend with layers of old, pancake-like lava on the supervolcano. USGS seismologists have been monitoring variations in electromagnetic fields in and around the supervolcano to piece together what's happening beneath it. They've found 388 to 489 cubic kilometers, 120 to 150 cubic miles of molten rock lying relatively close to the Earth's surface beneath the park. Different types of magma, however, conduct electricity differently, and it helps to diagnose the current state of the dormant volcano. Yellowstone is recharging its energy. However, research shows that its eruption is far from being a major event. Instead, Yellowstone will continue to slumber restlessly for some time to come. The USGS scans show at least seven distinct magma concentrations, some of which appear to be interconnected. They vary in depth. The deepest is about 47 kilometers below the surface. Seismic tomography studies show that a large area of rhyolite melt extends beneath the Yellowstone caldera, with an estimated melt volume that is one to four times larger than the eruptive volume of the largest caldera-forming eruptions 
of the past. The largest rhyolite melt storage area, concentrated beneath the northeastern Yellowstone caldera, has a storage volume similar to the eruptive volume of the smallest caldera-forming eruptions of Yellowstone. However, while the new magma concentration northeast of Yellowstone is significant, it is not the largest ever seen. We found that the rhyolite melt is stored in a discrete region beneath the caldera with a low melt fraction, suggesting that the reservoir is not eruptible, the study concluded. Typically, this region has a melt volume equivalent to a small volume post-caldera Yellowstone eruption.